So even if you're using something like Blogstomp or Photoshop to size your images down so they're not so big pixel wise, um, so that they're not like 6,000 pixels wide, they're 1,400 pixels wide, which is ideal, it still might be helpful to run them through a compression site such as tinypng.com, or if you just do a Google search, there are plenty of other image compression sites out there. Um, and these I've seen can take an image and reduce it to like a third of the size. So I have a few images here and I'm going to run them through, blo through blog stomp and then I'm going to run those blog stomped images through tiny PNG and I'll show you how small I can get them. So if we go to blog stomp, I'm going to pull these images into blog stomp. And right now you can see that there's 6,692 pixels wide, which is huge. We don't need them that big. I'm going to go to batch and I'm going to select one and I'm going to size them to 1400 pixels wide. And then I'm going to run stomp it and I'm going to let the, it run through this process. Once that is done, if I come to my desktop and I click on one of these images, I can see that it made them 1400 pixels wide. And if I click on info, I think I can see exactly how big it is. So this one is, so this one is 705 kilobytes. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab all of these images and I'm going to pull them in here and you'll see that it's going to compress them even more. So if we give it a minute and let it run through this process, you can see that we've already saved 72% on our size. So if your site is running slowly, or if you just want to speed up your site even more, it might be good to take those images that you're uploading and then run through them through this processor to, to speed up their load time even more. And then if we hit download all, this zip file will open and these new images will be in tinyfied and you can see that they are significantly smaller, so 135 kilobytes. Um, and the quality is not any less if we go through them and look. Lovely image of Davy. So I would then take these images and upload them to my website and use them throughout the pages of the website, through galleries, and you can even do this for blog posts. That might be a really great way to reduce the size of your blog posts.